All right, I'm in Eureka, Utah. I'm gonna take you on an awesome tour. I think you're gonna love it. Um, Eureka is about an hour and 15 minutes south of where I live. Right here is the city hall, and you can see that it was an originally a brick building that's been stuccoed, but you can see that the windows used to be larger in it, and it sits right over uh, a stone canal here. And uh, so they've redone it. You can see they've blocked this window completely in right here. And uh, really large windows. And uh, you can see that it used to be a prettier building when it was brick. And you can just see that uh, pretty design that they had there. Big, tall. Um, windows, uh, sorry, doors, but with, with the windows above the doors. Interesting that um, these windows appear to be the same as the doors. Storyline on it is that uh, this was, I believe, the original city hall, and it also had a jail in the back, so we're probably looking at original bars back here, but uh, they've redone this building. Sitting next to an old shack right here. <laughs> and uh, I really think you're gonna love this tour. Um, this is Main Street down here. And just look at what you're looking at. Look at these hills right behind uh, to the southeast of this town. And uh, Here's some more of that canal right here. I'm gonna get you over to Main Street here. There is an old Catholic church up this street here. I went and checked it out. Um, it is made completely of wood and just didn't seem very interesting to me. But, uh, so I, I didn't decide to add in the tour, but uh, I can tell you right now, you're gonna love this tour. And uh, so Eureka is a mining town. Um, I believe roughly founded in the 1860. I'll put some more information in the video as I find it. But uh, again, you can see what could happen here with the right event of how this all could just come down right on this old town. And the question is, did they find this town? Um, you know, a lot of people haven't ever even heard of the mud flood theory, but you can see that this was originally a brick building here. And, uh, and you can see that this was a facade put on the front of here. So just kind of interesting was this uh, sticking out of the ground here, this, uh, this brick. Um, you can see this is our work here, and they put a shack on the back. So was there stairs at one time, or was that a restroom? Probably was a restroom, and this was a bar. I'm pretty sure this was a bar. Um, but it looks like they're tearing this building down to get these bricks. Right here and they're piling up this brick and uh, let's just see what we can see in there so you can see this used to be the bar right here and you can see that there is a wood floor there and uh, you can see they've done a plaster you can see the brick back in there and they've put wood over the brick interesting thing about this building is that it is three levels deep of brick. So uh, I think that's interesting. And you can see that this brick went straight into the ground. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. You see that? And uh, they poured this concrete around this brick. And this is actually looks like another building was here was the Silver Club one time. And 
So you can just see that Eureka's on a hill. You can see that the mud, if it did come down, would have flowed this way. Um, but look at this funny street. <laughs> um, let's take a look at this. This looks like this used to be a building right here. And maybe it burned down. Um, they've put a ramp in up over there, so there's a possibility that we're, you know, not seeing everything there. And uh, they've got some stepping stones here, so there's a pond here sometimes, and I guess they go up that way. It looks like there's a barbecue trailer up there or something. So, um, I'll tell you what, we get into the middle of this main street and it's going to be pretty awesome. And we'll be able to ask ourselves if they build this, build this this way. So right here, you know, we've got a, a beautiful brick building here. And you can see when you look inside here that these little fronts right here on the front of these stores and uh, uh, that... Um, those are access to the basement right there. And you can see this pipe right here is actually venting a basement that's inside this little building, which right now is a restaurant. You can see how tall those ceilings are. And you can see that that's brick over there on the right-hand side and they've plastered over it. And this building, you can see that there used to be four arches in it and they've knocked that out to put bigger windows like idiots. Unfortunately, but you can see this brick used to go straight into the ground and uh, you can see more of it right here but uh, yeah very interesting so we've got another this looks like it could be a steel erected building um, really pretty Let's see if we can see what those are up there. Some interesting design. And, uh, but it does appear to be like it's still constructed on the front. And uh, it's got a wood floor and very tall ceilings, very tall ceilings. And uh, this building says that it was built in 1909 to serve as the new home of McCormick and Company Bankers. And yeah, you can definitely feel that steel when you walk in on it. You can see this beautiful main street here. Okay, so they've got some new concrete footing that they poured around here. And this is a, a brick building originally. The Gatley building and uh, looks like it's a rock shop right now just love love it and it's got that wood floor tells me there is a basement in it a lot of times these um, plates even if they say water um, are actually old coal chutes and uh, the sewer is generally out on the street so just something to remember um, let's go ahead and go up here real quick and we're just going to just get it as we get it. But you can see that the side of this building is stone and, uh, the side of this building is stone as well. There is a dog up there. And, uh. Unfortunately. Hi, how are you? Just admiring these buildings. <laughs> anyway, so you can see the front of these buildings are brick and the backs of them are stone. And so, you know, did they find these um, stone structures and maybe put the fronts of them on? Very interesting. Okay. So that you can see that this is an old brick building as well right here. 
and uh, it looks like they've done some type of hey buddy <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, just, to, just admiring these little buildings here. Beautiful little town here. <laughs> Is this your place right here? Oh, the green one, huh? Are you, uh, do you run a business out of it right now? Is it the rock shop or? Oh, awesome, awesome. Oh. All right, so uh, this lady, what's your name? Mary. Mary, she owns this uh, building right here and she was, kind of stopped me in the street and said, hey, do you want to see what she's doing here? So she's going to take us on a quick tour of her building and show us what she does. Is that right? Awesome. Great. This is the Gatley building. It was built in 1898 by Mr. Cook. He was barber and tailor. He lasted two years. He made the Gatley Brothers part of the building. He turned it into a bar, a billiard hall, and they made a big whiskey. Oh, okay, great. The business is crazy. Child. I'm not really? <laughs> really? Your mom gave this building to you as a child? No, she gave me the nickname. Nickname? Oh, as a child. oh my because goodness. I look at the world differently and I live a different lifestyle yeah. and it stuck through the whole life. My goal for the building is to keep it rustic and original as possible. So there's clock wire in the building when I bought it. It's been disconnected, but I want to show people and replace with new electricity. There was also no plumbing in the building. We took up the floor and put in plumbing. Okay. This is a real well inside the building for the purpose of the bootleggies. During the day, they had a desk on top to hide it from the police. We're doing nothing. At night, when the miners came to town, they hoisted the whiskey and beer at ice cold in wire baskets. Wow, so that's a real working well right there. It's still active. It's 20 feet deep with four foot of mountain water, and it's 40 degrees down there. Wow, wow. So thank you so much for letting me in. Perfect. So, we have the same interest. My goal, I'm decorating with antiques. Please excuse my mess. I'm still rearranging, but they're not for sale. If I sell them, I won't have anything to share with people. Mm. Some of the mining equipment from the mines here in Eureka, the draft horse equipment. The furniture is very old, handmade mission style with the wagon wheel design. <laughs> There's two cast iron wood burning stoves in the building. They both work. I'm originally an Iowa farm girl, so many of my antiques are from the Midwest. Awesome. What brand of stove is this? I'm not sure. Ah, awesome. I want to do more and label. Mm -hmm. I have a thousand things to do. Wow. I installed a clawfoot cast iron bathtub because I grew up with one. I had to have it. Nice. She's got the clawfoot cast iron bathtub in there. More of the liner and the light switch. <laughs> so that's the type of wiring that they put in. Wow, look at this. Welcome to my boudoir. Boudoir is French for private place. This is my home. I live here. Wow. This part of the building caved in during one of the Utah snowstorms and it's been restored with two by tens. And these are mine shaft beams from the mines here in Eureka. This oh, these are mine shaft beams. Yeah. Wow, wow. This is original secret hidden tunnel, the entrance. It ran full length of the building underground. It came out next door at the bank. The bank was so this is an entrance to a tunnel right here that went to the bank, which is next door, the steel building. The, it's made out of the, it's made out of the, it's right over here. So it goes in there, out that way down to the bank. It did. It, it did. did. And when the rest of the building did, it was mortar and brick and it was failing and the man chose not to restore it, cut the expense and he knew he was going to sell. Wow, and this building's thick. Look at this, guys. This is, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna guess somewhere around 27, 26 inches thick. The walls are natural, native stone, and almost two foot thick. Yes, and what was this concrete pad right here, do you know? Uh, I'm leaving the construction of the building because it tells a story and it tells history. Many people have owned the building and many things have happened, so the different construction products and ways of construction, it's history. Wow. I use as many antiques as possible. I live a very simple lifestyle. The refrigerator works great. That's an old plate of beveled glass 
Uh huh. I was just looking underneath the stairs just to see if there's anything yeah. mess. I just love the foundations on these old buildings and. So this is the this is between you and the bank. This brick here. It's a community wall. Yeah. Awesome community wall. Okay, great. It's a 1942 U.S. Army style, but it almost heat the whole building. <laughs> this is more of the mining equipment from the mines here in Eureka. Very heavy cast iron. The men would work deep in the ground all day long by carbide light, which is like a candle in their hat. Oh wow, wow, that's crazy. <laughs> So they'd have basically like one candlelight power in their hat, be in the mine, yeah. drilling with those babies. This is a three-quarter antique brass bed. It was imported from Germany by my friend's great-great-grandma when she immigrated. Mm, awesome. So now we're coming down about mm, one foot onto this wood floor here. Wow. Area. Lovely. <laughs> Looks like your ceilings are about what? 12 or 13 feet? 14 feet. 14 feet? Great. Yeah. Awesome. Where, where is your access to your crawl space? Uh, I have little trap doors randomly just for the plumbing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, she's good. Mm -hmm. and it's a uh, tongue and groove. So it's a chore to bring it up. I don't want to. Oh, so it's not something that you can just, with a hand somewhere that you have access with just it. Just hit my plumbing site. Ah, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah. So it's not easy access in any way. It's something yeah. that you have to work to get to if you need to. I need a carpenter to work on this bed. Ah. It's very, very old, hard wood. You can't put a nail in it. You have to drill and the bits break all the time. It's, it's tongue and groove from ceiling to floor. So it's a chore. When you bring it up, unfortunately, you break some. And I need a master carpenter to do that and put it back without destroying the floor. Awesome. Just when it needs to come up. And look at what she deals in. Is that right? These are... Yeah, this is my rock shop. <laughs> I'm digging mine all over the United States. This wall has... You do this. You... Yeah, I'm a miner. She's a miner. She she mined for this. Uh, and this is... Um, selenite. Selenite. Okay, she great. Some family. Awesome. This wall has four layers of wallpaper with these beautiful art. This wall is drywall, and I started to bring it down with my barn, and I thought, wait a minute. The material is selenite in the gypsum family. Corporate America crushes gypsum to make drywall sheetrock. So sheetrock is made from selenite, partially. Yep, crushed. Crushed. Wow, well, that's nice. And so there's my answer. It's art, history, and stone. I just added it. Mm -hmm. It's just that. another age of something of uh, the storyline exactly <laughs> wow that is so great what's the name of your shop here crazy mary's crazy mary's guys <laughs> and uh come out to eureka and come take a look at her shop and you're gonna love this little town thank you so much mary thank you do you mind if i um walk up the back here and just oh, of course see the back side and all of that and just go from there all right, thank you so much. Is this available for right here? Yep. Oh, I thank you so it. much. The audience, I'm sure, is just going to love that. Have a you great day. You too. All right, thanks, Mary. You're welcome. That was that, guys. So that is the Gatley building. So let's take a look at where we were now. So there's birds living in this uh, building next to her over here. And uh, you can see them, they just come out of these cracks and stuff. And this is an entrance into where we just were into the back of this building where her home is. But like she said, there is a tunnel underneath here in between this building and that building. There's a well inside her building. And uh, let's, uh, let's go up here real quick and take a look at the the back of this other building since we're getting a different vantage point here. So here's the top of the steel building next to her. And let's see what we have here. And so then there's 
just wanted to see if there's anything up here on this brick part of this building back here. And you, it looks like they've got some fireplaces coming up, two of them in the middle there. And there's another one on the other side and it looks like they have a skylight on top. <laughs> All right. So this is just the big hill of mud that may have very well came right in contact with these buildings. And these buildings were built of stone, heavy duty, strong enough to withhold the, the mud. And uh, just cool, I got like glass in there, you can see inside there. Let's go ahead and go down these stairs real quick and just take a look in the back of this other building while we're here. Booty, cute dog. So in the back of here, we've got some stairs coming down into this area right here. And uh, let's just go ahead and see. Not really sure what we're looking at there. So, <laughs> we're gonna have to keep weaving like this, guys but it gets better and better. You good boy, good girl, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> good boy, huh? He's a good boy. Yeah, he is. He definitely had me thinking, do I want to walk any further up there? <laughs> uh huh. Thank you so much, Mary. So, uh, so really interesting that the sides of these buildings are built of stone. And here we have another brick building. And uh, let's just take a look inside there. This is where we were in the back of looking down. And uh, got the oldie ladder lean <laughs> in there. And uh, you can see that you got a level brick here and another level of brick inside at least and they've put some weird front on the bottom of this building and plaster over the top another brick building this building says 1894 and uh so let's take a look in it but you do have a vent right here venting out the basement and uh, that's what we have. It's like an old wash machine in there. Okay, so then you have another brick building that looks like it's something's, well, it's missing a roof, let's just be honest. It looks like maybe this was stairs going up to a certain level at one time. Let's take a look in here. But you got stone down the side again. And uh, yeah, there used to be a building inside here. All right. So now, this is an interesting building. You have an Elks Lodge up top, which is a Freemasonic organization. And uh, you got one in every one of these old little towns. Not an Elks Lodge, but just one of these uh, Freemasonic organizations. Uh, built in 1909-1910. And uh, I think this is the door that they get upstairs with. And I don't know what the shape of these things are right here. Maybe scrolls, not really sure, but it's got the elk up there. And you can see that they used to have vents here and over here as well. And uh, that that um, the floor goes up. So you have to walk up uh, to get to the, the floor in there. And you have another vent, and this little area is even higher than the floor back in there. And uh, so this is uh, another store. And uh, the lady says that there, 
she's not aware of there being a basement in there. So let's just see what we see in there. Um, it's a beautiful old building. But you can see that it's still venting out the basement there. And uh, sh she really wasn't aware of a basement in it. And the floor is pretty dang solid in there. But uh, think about if there was a basement or if that was the original level at one time. Um, you know, you can see how a basement could get turned into a crawl space. So let's keep going here. It looks to me like these windows right here were two of those, just like that, turned into one. And they've done that again. But you see these arched windows and then the square windows, which to me uh, tells me that there's been some things going on there. <laughs> Looks like uh, well, they're covering something here, like maybe an old coal chute. And maybe this was the coal chute right here. And uh, you've got a interesting, looks like something for water going through here. And you've got an interesting mud flood window or whatever down here and an arch window back here. Let's go around the back and just see what we're looking at here. So this is that water. So the water comes down off the building here and just diverts around it. But you've got an old arch that they've taken out right here, which is a little lower than that arch, strange. So maybe a window at one time, a door. Um, another arch, could have been a door, could have been a window. Let's see. What we're looking at here so so you got an arch up here like this used to be a balcony maybe but you got then you got these squared off windows up here again so um, plus I noticed you had some of these little red bugs whatever they are and uh, so you got some brick down here. You got a big arch down here. New foundation, it looks like. And this is that building in here with no roof that we were just looking at. So let's keep going. So yeah, look at that hill of mud. And uh, is that what happened? Okay, guys, so we're gonna, I'm gonna take you in the back of this building now. And look at this, very interesting. Um, you got the stone, but then you've got the brick. And so they've bricked these windows in within the stone. It's very interesting, right? Levi's ad on the side from a long time ago. And this looks like this has just been turned into a storage unit here. And this says Shia, Shia, uh, Shia building. But it looks like it's that still uh, frame, brick sides, beautiful arch work up top, and uh, and then again on this side you've got your brick and your stone, but you've got these beautiful perfect arches in here. I want to show you this side of the building as well. We'll get around to the front of this. Um, but look how big that door was, or maybe it was a window, look, window, window, probably so. Or you had window, window. But look at these beautiful keystones and these arches. 
We got another door they've put in here. This is uh, interesting right here. Kind of comes up right there. Uh, this looks like maybe a patch right there. I'm not really sure. Got a vent back in here, but another window. And uh, this used to be a taller window. That's what it is. These used to be taller um, windows with the arch probably just like they are above. Um, but you've got this stone building with these this brickwork where it looks like they found this stone building with bigger windows and they just bricked it in with this brick and made these arches. And this looks like it used to be a lot larger, or no, two. You used to have two smaller windows right here at one time, and they've blocked it in and just put a bigger um, uh, a one window in there, I guess. So then now look at this, guys. Let's see here. Do we want to go over here first? Yeah, let's check this out. So we've got... A blocked in door back here or it could have been a window and then you've got a door right here so yeah you've got a door right here and you've got another door right here but then you've got this rock work with the block uh, with the bricked in windows and you've got this hill right behind it coming in that they've put all of this huge rock all over it and then they've used this wire to uh, retain it with but now look at the back of this building and look at this beautiful work on these corners really beautiful let's get in here so you've got it looks like a vent or something, or it used to be a vent, venting out a basement in there. And it looks like something's gave way right here, but we've got a bridge over us going to a door, it looks like, and it used to have a bigger window, but look at this back here. It used to have a big arch right here. And you can see down in there, <laughs> But this used to be a big window right here. And look, you've got this stupid wall right here. Can you imagine anybody would build this? And you've got another huge arch right there. See that, guys? And used to be a huge window right here. And you've got a window right here. But it's not as large of an arch. Very interesting. And uh, you just see, this is crazy. So that's the backside of this building. Let's go find out what it is. You've got something venting in here as if there's a lower level. Um, very interesting. So is there a lower level in there? All right, let's come around this side. In there. Huh. But look at that brickwork. It's just beautiful brickwork. It looks like post office brickwork. And it looks like the type of brickwork where they plaster over and make it look like stone a lot of the time. But then you have this fake facade over the front. And uh, kind of hard to tell what we're looking at. Kind of looks like this could have been a Masonic Lodge at one time, but I'm not really sure. And you have a newer type style window up front than what you have on the sides. And this is just a complete facade over this building. And uh, you've got another uh, newer looking window back there. So let's go check this out. right next door to the city hall. So I'm not really sure what this 
building is, but uh, definitely want to get in there and go see. So let's go check that out. Dedicated to national defense and pioneers of Tintic Mining District. I just saw a way over there real quick, so I'm gonna take it. So you can just look at this. Do you believe that this is the way that this was built? <laughs> uh, got something going on up there. Let's take a look in here. Let's see what this is. This looks like a boiler unit. Hello. Definitely a boiler unit. Jeez. Oh, and uh, got some type of. Well, it's dark as hell on there, unfortunately. Let's see here. <laughs> All right, so they got a boiler unit here, and you can see this crappy work of ours. And then they've got a retaining wall around this area. Big old stack right there. You've got this beautiful work on this building here. And uh, let's keep going here. So you've got a vent venting out a basement right here. And you've got another vent venting out the basement. And you can see this stone foundation here. keep going so now we've got City Hall here in the sheriff's office this is kind of interesting story to it but look at this you got this concrete going all the way up there you know and is this the, the way this was originally built or not you got arches up top this whole porch is all brand new by the way that's not original no way and you do have wood here so was there another level um, uh, underneath here? I think there definitely was. Let's see if we see any stairs going down in there anywhere. You got windows above the doors, big old front door, big old arch. It says 1899 is when this was built. The Eureka City Hall was built in 1899 by Eureka City Government and functioned as the offices for City Court, Mayor, Sheriff, Recorder, Treasurer, Council Chamber, and City Volunteer Fire Department. So it had it all. But it is interesting, they've got these concrete stairs going all the way up there. So let's come up the side of it. It's got gel in the back. I think it's still functioning, guys. But look at this, you got brick going straight into the ground back here. This looks like what you're looking at. Looks like a mud flood came through here and just sunk this place. This is interesting, it's like cinder block. But here's your gel. Very interesting. All right, let's go down here. Let's see what this is all about. Interesting, right below the jail. And you've got a huge tall uh, door here with a window above it, right below another window. Got a door up there. <laughs> it used to be a definitely used to be a window, and you got a window below it. <laughs> Pick me out.
All right, let's keep going here. So this little building right here, I don't know um, if this was maybe a foundation that they found right here, but you've got a little, definitely got like a, at least a crawl space in there, if not a basement. And uh, let's just take a look at it. So, are they hiding something here? Is there stairs going down right there, underneath there? And do you walk into it right there and go down that way? It would not surprise me. Let's take a look. Okay, so that's where they're putting their propane tank at. So this is a mining museum. It's got all their mining different equipment. Let's just go hit that real quick, but you got a blocked in door right there. Wood ramps around this. And this is just all the different mining equipment that they used. Little set of stairs coming up this way. Let's see what this is. So, this is interesting. Got a, maybe a view agent to this area where I couldn't really get to it. Got some brick that's fall down here, fell down. But this is just kind of fell on in, this building right here. And it's got a beautiful arch in there. So we'll come around to it. We're storing brick here in the back. Used to be a brick building, it looks like. And, uh, hmm. All right, we're just gonna just keep going here. Got a window there, and look how thick that goes in there. Quite deep, one, two, three levels of brick. Look at this, they just got a beautiful old car sitting in there, uh, collecting dust. Crazy. And so this is sitting next to that brick building that caved in. And uh, all right, so let's see if we can't get a view but it looks like it has a basement and these are venting that out <laughs> um, let's see what we have here yeah hard to say what we're looking at in there right now okay so is this a new foundation right here um, well, it's hard to say. Let's see what that is. This is just part of the same building that's caved in there. And the back is boarded in. And it uh, looks like they're saving the bricks here. Gonna pile them up. All right, so here's another building that looks like it was built of brick originally. And you go down and there's a window above the door down there. And you've got a bridge that they put over to access this side. But look at that right there. Very interesting. You've got these ground level windows but were they taller like these at one time? Oh, let's go check out what it is. Who would make a building this way to climb all the way up to the first level this way? It's hard to believe. I believe there's not another door underneath this set of stairs right here. So this is a 
This was the post office building. 1922 is what they say. That's hard to believe. And that leaves us this last building over here. Well, we better go check this out. Got some windows in here. And these go down quite a way right there, quite a ways. <laughs> it's just hard to believe that was made that way. You got another one here. And look how far down it goes. Huh. So then you got a church here and another church up there and kind of interesting story about this last church over here. And that is that that beautiful school in spring utah um that was a couple episodes ago was they're saying was designed by the same guy and the only reason i remembered that is because of the way that i said his name but the, this eureka church 1891 is what they're saying bell tower It's got a stone foundation. I'm gonna drive around this town after we're done here and just see if there's any certain other structures that stick out that I wanna show you. But that's crazy, right? It's got these old cars just sitting here. Obviously, a very safe town. But this church right here, they're saying, is a Mormon or LDS church and was built as an LDS church. And, uh, <laughs> ain't no way. No way. Doesn't look anything like an LDS church. It has that super tall spire antenna on the top of it. <laughs> Usually they make them into flagpoles. But look at this right here. You think this is original? <laughs> I don't think so. But look at this right here says it was built by the same guy who designed or designed by the same guy who built that beautiful school in Spring City. Uh, Richard C. Watkins. <laughs> and uh, you got kind of looks like a mud flood window there. Looks like maybe a patch underneath this window right here. Another patch for sure right there directly underneath this window. So there used to be a window there. And uh, you got some vents venting out the basement there. You've got this basement. Hello. Just uh, checking out your awesome building here. Oh, please. Ah. It's basically for big, big old groups. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So she, they have this rented out on Airbnb. For large groups. This is cool. Yeah. So wow. <laughs> That's really nice. That'd be a lot of fun for the right big group. Yes, yes. Um, wow. The, the kitchen up to the left is super does it have a basement? Um, it does, but it's like decrepit. And <laughs> it is? Yeah. Um, can I see it? Yeah. Please. Yeah. What's your interest? <laughs> oh, just... Just my hobby of just checking out old buildings and... Yeah, it's down there. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's open? Yeah. All right, all right. Thank yeah. you so much.
Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So I'm on a wood plank floor here. And uh, Hard to see what we're looking at, but this looks like this was a stone. No, nope, no, nope, that's hollow. Interesting. Maybe there's a... All right. Got some lights here. Say what we're looking at in here. It's got all wood. It's all wood. And it does feel hollow below the feet. So that's kind of interesting. But I guess it goes down about that deep right there. This is the bottom of this church. Looks like it used to have a chimney right here. Maybe a boiler down in here. That's so great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, most interesting looking LDS chapel yeah. I ever saw. That's really true. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, something different, but yeah. I really appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. So that is Eureka, Utah. Um little bit of a different tour let me know what you think